Welcome back. Vocational training has become a major focus of curriculum in both high schools and colleges. And one Austin charity is embracing the opportunity to prepare students for the working world. Joining me today are Harish Kotecha and uh, Kash Rimbatla from the Hindu Charities of America to uh, talk about a new scholarship program. And also, um, I'm, I'm sorry, this is um, Rama Tiru also with us today and we're here to talk about the Hindu Charities for America and the program that is now offering a twenty thousand dollar scholarship to a couple entities throughout yeah. Austin thank you so much for being here today thank, thank you. you talk about so, this new yeah, program yeah let me just uh, give it briefly about Hindu Charities for America the vision is that uh, we live here we give here so yeah. Indians have been very successful throughout the United States you know three million or so mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we have, uh, the success is basically because of education, right? I mean, the only reason that U.S. allowed us to <laughs> give the visa is because of education. And uh, so given that, uh, you know, what we want to do is give back to the community. So we have established two programs. One is for scholarships, uh, which we initiated last year. Uh -huh. And since 2010, we have been donating uh, school supplies uh, at the beginning of the school year. Right. The school supply program we do with the greater... Uh, Austin Jewish Federation, mm -hmm. and we just had an event uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago, Bollywood meets Brochbelt, which is appropriate name, you know, Brochbelt is the cultural, uh, used to be a cultural, um, you know, visual arts and performing arts center for the Jewish community in U.S. So that event, uh, we raised about $18,000, which, uh, and uh, that will benefit about 100, 1,100 kids uh, in terms of school supplies for Manor, Dell Valley, and Austin. And talk, talk about why you decided that um, vocational training, this, this curriculum, was an important focus. Well, because vocational, the good thing about the vocational training is between six months to 18 months, you know, they would get a career. Hopefully they get a job. Mm -hmm. And our focus has been on the homeless kids and the kids who are underprivileged. Right. So, so the way we established this thing is with, uh, with Austin Community College, we have $500 scholarships, 15 scholarships, mm -hmm. with capital area. Uh, capital Idea, we have a thousand dollar scholarship, which is Capital Idea is an awesome organization. Mm -hmm. And then with Manor, Manor ISD, we again have only five hundred dollars with five hundred dollar scholarships for fifteen kids. So th this would be very useful to them because it will help them towards paying the tuition. And, and, and all of this money was raised through a, a cultural event. Yes, you know, we partner with uh, and are taking advantage of the, uh, the cultural diversity of Austin. Mm -hmm. We partner with the Jewish community and every year organize, uh, as Harish was saying, Bollywood to Bosch Belt. Bosch Belt was a kind of a, a movement in New York. Uh, which sort of um, showcased the Jewish community cultural events. So we are uh, showcasing it with Bollywood. Right. And uh, we have sold out tables and we provide vegetarian meals and, uh, uh, do, you know, Jewish desserts. <laughs> and <laughs> it's a very nice combination. It, yeah, and, uh, a both, celebration. Yes, it's a celebration of both communities. Right. And uh, with that, we raised, uh, this time we raised $16,000. Mm -hmm. It was a sold out event mm -hmm. and uh, both the communities worked very well. Mm -hmm. And we also organized a very big event called uh, Diwali Giving Fest. Diwali is the uh, uh, the light festival of India. It's a very big event for us. Mm -hmm. And during that time, we have this ev uh, event. Again, it's a cultural event where um, all the India, all the visual and uh, uh, performing artists of Austin mm -hmm. uh, who are of Indian origin, mm -hmm. they give their time free for us to organize this event. And all we sell tickets and the money that's raised from that, we give it to charity. The, the Hindu Charities is focused on, on, um, on the Indian culture and the children that are living here. Well, what, what do you find that are, is the most challenging aspects and what do they excel in? Well, I, I I think it's first off, it's 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 important to note that uh, as as you mentioned the uh, the um, trade schools, uh, the reason we're doing trade schools as well as our separate project of giving school supplies is basically that both of them are related to education. Um, I guess the biggest challenge is is trying to get communities involved. Yeah. And um, our actual goal is to try and create a movement um, because we're, it's 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 us helping our kids here sure you know so it's it's actually trying to basically make this a national movement while at the same time keeping it local right yeah. 
And also, I want to bring to your notice, even though it's called Hindu Charities, it's not a religious-based charity. Yeah. Yeah. It's a community-based organization. And, and a way to get involved with the community. Yeah, and, 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 and it's really, the, the Hindu Charities, as, 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 you know, as, when he started it, and, and the, the idea, the vision is to give in, Indian folks, uh, or you know, Indian Americans, um, a medium whereby to you know, give back to the community and share yeah. the prosperity of success you know, that they've gotten from the very communities that they live in. Harish, Cash, and Rama, thank you so much for being with us thank today. You. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be right back.